They came to them some weeks ago with plans that are half drawn. They came to them with plans that are half baked. They don't even know, the THA does not even know what they want to do with Store Bay. All they know, they want to put their hands on this priceless piece of treasure and give it to their friends. Mr. Duke held a media conference on the issue at Store Bay on Monday. This is the part that upsets me. They are talking delusions of grandeur again. Oh, they want to refurbish the facilities. To look like what? To become what? To attract who? And who will now be the occupants of these boots that they refurbish and enhance? We want to know. The PDP leader is calling on the THA to come clean on the issue. The PDP is saying today, it is time that the THA come with clean hand to the people of Sorby, or else we will have to fight them with the law. We want to see complete plans, so when people are having discussions, they must have discussions on what is already, or what already have outlined approval. Duke said the THA has not kept its election promise to fix this. My colleagues, they came in on fixing this bread and butter issues instead they have allowed Tobago to fall into disrepair and they are boxing bread literally out of the children's mouth. This must stop. In a release on the issue, the Division of Tourism has labeled the impending upgrades as long overdue but condemns misinformation on the plans. The Division of Tourism categorically stated that no tenant has been issued eviction letters nor has any procurement process been initiated for works to the existing facility. It says the public is also assured that there will be wider public consultation after the redesign process is complete and all tenants and stakeholders of the Store Bay Beach facility continue to have free and easy access to information and updates through the office of the facility manager. Elizabeth Williams, TV6 News.